Encyclopedia Britannica films will either have no music or the most intense possible music. The Helicopter, a guide to the hippest new parenting style. I'm nervous about how close we are to these blades. Are we sure John Landis didn't direct this? Ah, Princeton, the safety school of the Ivy League. Uh, folks, this is your captain speaking. There will be a slight delay as we finish paving the runway. Modern aviation has made great progress in recent years. The doors only fall off the plane sometimes. Huge airliners carry into the sky each day an ever larger tonnage of cargoes and passengers. With even more screaming babies next to you. Possible extremely high speed. Ah, crap, I missed the on-ramp and now I have to take back roads to the danger zone. Yet in one aspect, these aircraft have become more limited than before, since they need exceptionally long runways. Oh, you're so self-conscious about length. The need for an aircraft independent of huge airfields is being met today by the helicopter. Harold the helicopter. Land in any area big enough for its whirling rotor. Don't forget to load it up with ocean life repellent bat sprays. Helicopters are being used today for a wide variety of jobs. This helicopter's a Walmart greeter. Aircraft. In larger cities, they are delivering thousands of pounds of mail every day from outlying airports directly to the post office. Why are outlying airports writing so many letters? 400 pounds of mail on each trip. And in some cities, trips are made throughout the day at 20 minute intervals. Even faster when Launchpad McQuack's flying and with a flashier landing. Over Oop, Robert Redford's landing on the wrong roof. ...can land directly on the roof of the post office itself, in a fraction of the time needed by mail trucks, thus greatly speeding the delivery of mail. But don't worry, we'll still be sure to deliver it to the wrong address. Helicopters have found important uses in the country, too, where they are used for dusting crops... So not like traveling through hyperspace. Equipment. The helicopter's great maneuverability makes it possible to spread dust over every corner of the field, no matter how irregular it may be. Try to outrun the this, Cary Grant. The whirling rotor causes dust to swirl among the plants, thus giving them a more thorough coating. This advancement in fog technology will be a huge boon to Six Flags Fright Fest. The helicopter's slow speed makes it useful for any kind of air search. He's looking for someone, he's looking for someone, he's looking for someone, helicopter. If anything unusual is spotted from the air, the helicopter can hover Awkwardly. to give the inspector a better look. This was before they just put the copter blades in the inspector's hat. Equipped with pontoons, the helicopter can land on water. That's blasphemous. It penetrates swamps, which were previously inaccessible. To rescue Bernie the agent. Whoa, landed on a mine there. In war... <sighs> I knew we'd get here eventually, folks. But all these values will eventually be secondary to the helicopter's use as a passenger vehicle. Astute prediction. Combining its ability to fly with the automobile's ability to go directly to and from its destination... This versatile craft is almost unlimited in the variety of uses to which it can be put. The best way to show off a helicopter is to shoot it at an angle where it's obscured by a house. To understand the helicopter... Talk to its therapist. ...see what makes an ordinary airplane fly. It isn't the propeller which lifts the airplane off the ground. It's love example, that lifts it up where it belongs. Airplanes can fly without propellers. But all ordinary aircraft must have forward speed to fly, and this forward speed is provided by the propeller. The propeller's the a dealer. speed is necessary lies in the shape of the airplane's wing. A careful examination will show that the wing has been designed... By a moron. So ...the upper surface is more curved than its lower surface. Therefore, the distance from the front to the back of the wing measured along the lower surface is less than the distance from the front to the back measured along the upper surface. Then some witchcraft happens, and then when flight. the airplane is in motion, air rushes past the wing. Well, technically, the, the wing rushes the through the air. The moves a longer distance in the same time as the air passing the lower surface, and therefore moves past the upper surface faster. What a show-off. This difference in air speed increases as the airplane itself moves faster. What about the airspeed of an unladen swallow? 
along the upper wing surface. Surface has stopped sounding like a real word. pressure under the wing lifts it into this partial vacuum, which enables the airplane to fly. Then the wings retract so the bulleteers can crash through headquarters. At first glance, a helicopter seems to be able to fly without wings. Actually, however, to be fair, nevertheless, in our defense, are shaped much like the wings of an airplane. The upper surface of the rotor blade. Boy, the MCU went in an unexpected surface. direction for their version of blade. When the rotor turns, air moves past it in much the same way that it moves past the wing of an ordinary plane. Thus, there is no need for the helicopter itself to be moving. So let's just leave it parked when the here. Move fast enough. They provide the lift necessary to raise the helicopter off the ground. So you can chase Amy Smart's cheating ex. Helicopters are called rotary wing aircraft, while conventional airplanes are called fixed wing. What about X-wings, Y-wings, and TIE fighters? The helicopter's development stemmed from an earlier craft, the Autogyro, shown in these historical films. Was this shot by the camera from The Camera Speaks? Since the rotor was pre-wheeling... It really needs to get its life together. Many devices first developed for autogyros are being used in today's helicopter. Tomorrow's helicopter will be forced to find its own devices. The helicopter is a free-swinging body... Someone's trying to write helicopter erotica. The turning rotor sets up an action which tends to turn the body of the helicopter in the opposite direction. This action is called torque and is counteracted by a tail propeller called the anti-torque rotor. I'm not anti-torque. I respect all the monkeys the equally. In any direction, independently of the direction of travel. How long I got to demonstrate this? I'm getting dizzy. To understand how forward movement is accomplished, let's see what happens with a toy rotor like this. If you hold the rotor flat, it will fly straight up. Just think, kids, you could be playing with toys instead of watching this. But if you tilt it in any direction, it will fly in that direction. Over Harbor Boulevard at 9 p.m. as Disneyland guests try to find their Ubers. A helicopter rotor works the same way. Tilting it in any direction with relation to its shaft... I can dig it. ...causes the helicopter to fly in that direction, whether it's forward, backward, or sideways. The direction of flight is determined by the tilt of the rotor and not by the direction the nose of the helicopter is headed. So the copter doesn't follow its nose. Toucan Sam must now be fuming. Let's take a ride in a helicopter. Must we? While the controls are comparatively simple, a helicopter pilot must be as thoroughly trained as the pilot of any other type of aircraft. A self-starter starts the engine. I could be a self-starter too if I wasn't warm, paralyzed by a cocktail of attention deficit air. issues. <laughs> Joey? Do you like movies about gladiators? The collective pitch control, whose handle is also the throttle, determines the amount of lift which the rotor provides. Once in the air, the pilot uses foot pedals, which control the tail rotor to turn the machine in the direction he desires. Usually towards the, the liquor store. The front of the pilot controls the angle between the spinning rotor and its shaft. When the stick is moved in the direction the pilot wants to travel, the helicopter is on its way. They can spy on Homer and Marge skinny dipping. Flying a helicopter. Roger Moore's going to drop Blofeld into that smokestack. Wing craft. Although this craft can cruise at about 85. Wow, hours, none of those cars have ghosts. Need to maintain airspeed, so there's time to look around. Should the engine fail, the rotor would act much like a parachute. And down will come, baby, copter and all. Most landings are with power. Now you're landing with power. There are a number of different kinds of helicopters being flown today. We mostly use them to watch car chases. Some are designed with two rotors, which turn in opposite directions. Each rotor counteracts the torque action of the other, and thus eliminates the need... Why do they look like two brothers having a slap fight? Twin rotor helicopters have been built large enough to carry 16 persons. Big deal. So can a Revenge of the Mummy ride car. The jet helicopter, powered by tiny jet engines on the tips of the rotor blades, works much like a fireworks pinwheel. Try this at home, kids. Go on. It can only end well. The jet engines are the only source of power. Left on Earth, so everybody's fighting over jet them. helicopters are simpler in construction, lighter, and easier to operate than conventional helicopters, although fuel consumption is very high. Also, we forgot the walls. The continued development of this and other types of helicopters... That one's clearly built out of connects. ...freedom of movement 
and the wide range of uses to which they can be put hold great promise for the future of transportation. Just wait until the sky has traffic. Who could have predicted the vast changes which the development of the automobile and the truck have brought about in our society? Me. I could predict it because I'm a genius. The potentialities of the helicopter are just as great. Its versatility as a transportation vehicle... Hey, everything everywhere all at west. ...an important role in reshaping the pattern of our daily living. Or just invest in better railroads and more buses? Sadly, this helicopter was later killed with a car by John McClane. And on your way out, look under your seats for the keys to your brand new helicopter toy storage locker. Well, now I know all about helicopters, the personal transportation of the future. The same future that Dippin' Dots are the ice cream of, no doubt. I would like to thank my patrons for their continued support, and especially these patrons right here for flying in with some emergency support during some Patreon live streams, where we crack jokes together about these wild whirly birds. If you would like to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. You don't even need to be a trained pilot, you can just join. And at $2, you can see this month's final video, an armchair imagineering about a ride I've wanted for a long time, based on a world that I usually talk about during a very different time of year. Couldn't wait for December for this one. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's quite a bit of traffic outside, so I'm gonna ride a helicopter to the grocery store to buy a single pack of gum. A completely efficient use of resources. And until next time, this is Dave, signing off.